3.47 a.m. I almost thought that that clock was wrong when I looked at it just now. Oh my gosh. It is early. But it's time to hit the road. We're going to Orlando, Walt Disney World. Time to head to LAX. <laughs> All right, it's uh, about 4.13. Well, it's literally 4.13, not about 4.13. And we're on the road. We should be at the car park around 4.40, somewhere about there. Our flight is at 6.30. We're back on Delta, and we're flying first class this time. Woohoo! Yeah, we got a, we got a good rate because we, we bought the tickets pretty early. And we think that uh, the meal service is back. There was. We read somewhere that, that I think today was the first day, right? I think, that, yeah, I think today's the day they're rolling it out, so maybe it'll happen on our flight, maybe Literally on that cart, they roll it out. Yeah, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll see, so, Hopefully, you know, fingers if crossed. not, if not, uh, who cares, but... But either way, we're going first class to Orlando, to Walt Disney World. Oh, yeah. We got sky priority because of our first class status on this flight, which is nice. We haven't earned it yet as far as points go. I know, we gotta get those points. That was easy. <laughs> I mean, look at this line, it's not too bad. It's not, but I want, I need, we need to get those points up for priority, man. I'm telling I know. you right now, it's so I, good. I wish. But at least we got a TSA pre check. That's another thing that we uh, yeah. highly recommend. Or the other one, what's the other one called? Clear. Clear. Well, we're TSA pre-check, so we fly through security. Literally. It's a fast pass. All right, here we go. Go, Katie, go. Flying. All right, uh, that was nice and easy TSA pre-check. Five minutes, that fast. Katie's readjusting some of the gear. Uh, I can't recommend that enough. All right, we're headed to gate 23B, I believe. Onward. It's nice to see things open. I remember the first time we went to Walt Disney World, all this was like dark. There wasn't even lights on. Yeah, it seems alive again. The only stuff that's not open is just because of the hours. About that time when you crave a Jersey Mike sub at six in the morning. 23B, of course, the most crowded of the terminals. Um, how many minutes away are we right now? We are about 5.35, so about 25 minutes from boarding, 20 minutes. 20 minutes from boarding? Yeah, um, if we board on time. Are you excited to fly first class though? Yeah, I'm, well, I, this is gonna sound bad, but the thing is the last time we flew first class, it's because you're so close to the front of the plane and it looks like a small area and I don't like small areas, but it, it's alleviated because I look backwards. She'd rather like, be in the back of the plane, you guys. No, no, not in the back. I want to be You can go in the, the back. Middle. I'm sure somebody would trade with you. No, I want to be in the middle. But I'm happy though, because I'll have more space as far as seat goes, okay. so that'll help. Like, it's claustrophobia. Like, I can't help the way I feel. And she doesn't like being uh, sitting farther away from me in a, in a nice, comfy seat. Yeah, I like being like right up here. Even though she doesn't like elbows crossing. No. She gets annoyed with that. Very specific. Uh, Idiosyncrasies I, with this really one over here. Have, this is what I have to deal with, you guys. Yeah, it's some serious, like, weird stuff, but I can't help it. Get away from me. <laughs> Alright, there we are. DL 703 to Orlando. 6.30 a.m. It is now 5.46. Alright, it's time to board. Katie's excited. I'm really nervous. <laughs> the nerves are setting in, but... The good part about flying to Florida is that you have a lot of kids on this flight, and then I'm like, okay, if they could do it. <laughs> it's just been a bit, so that's kind of why I'm a little extra nervous, because it's been like, I don't know how long. It's been a bit, though. A couple, several months. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day. Right there. All right. To the jetway. Okay. To the jetway! Oh, Marvelous Mrs. Oh, Maisel, I love that shot. What are we on, Katie? We're in a 737-900? ER. Extended Same. range. Oh, ER. 
737-900ER. Yeah. Yes. Look at that, the sun's out. Oh, pretty. It's more like a mid-price phone as opposed to like the top Yeah, we always get a beautiful takeoff when you do 6 a.m. I love that wing. <laughs> Tap for good luck, there she goes. Awesome. I'll do it too. Yes. Oh, we've got mood lighting today. So something that's really cool is I ran into uh, an old friend from work who's on the same flight and is also going to Walt Disney World. Uh, I'm going to keep it anonymous uh, for his sake, but it was really cool to see him. A good friend of mine worked on so many shows together for years. Um, but yeah, they're also going to Walt Disney World and we're on the same flight. Who would have thought? So you know who you are. Great running into you and catching up. Checking out the view as the sun starts to come up through our kind of a smudgy wet window but uh yeah it's gonna be a nice day to fly Delta flight 703 three hours 58 minutes flying time climbing up 29,000 feet officially uh right now they're doing opposite directions so they're still landing uh from over the water we're taking out towards the water so we have to go all the way over to two four or two five right so a little bit of a taxi to get over there and then uh, initially heading towards a Blythe, south of Phoenix, San Simone, uh, El Paso, County, Texas, Lake Charles, then on across over the Gulf of Mexico towards uh, St. Pete and Tampa and then to Orlando. Weather's good there. Uh, I'll get that sleep and light once we level off. Might be a little bit of bumps at the climb. We can expect that. Thank you much for properly wearing your mask. Push them back here in just a few minutes. Flight pass, please spare doors from early departure. Cross check, all call. All passengers must be seated at this point. We're going to start moving the aircraft momentarily. Thank you. I just hate takeoff. I'm kind of okay once we level off, but takeoff is the worst. It's okay to be anxious. It's okay to be nervous. We're pushing back. Oh, there's another Delta over there.
glassware. Look at this. Oh yeah. Got like a little OJ in a glass. Awesome. Thank you. Oh yeah, check it out. Some eggs, looks like a potato situation, sausage. Cuties in the form of a hidden Mickey. A muffin with uh, some sort of fancy butter. And then I got some Greek yogurt with a bunch of granola. It has like coconut, macadamia nuts, wow. some raisins, chia seeds. And then there's some jam for this little muffin with some cinnamon butter. And I also got some more kiddies as well. And it's cool because we also got real silverware. Oh. It has Delta on it. Isn't that cool? I've never got to experience this before. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's really exciting. I don't know why it's the little things, but like, oh, yeah. awesome. Feels good. I'm having a little mimosa. Get enough Diet Coke. Oh yeah. Okay, flight update. We are over Louisiana, kind of uh, in between Lake Charles and Lafayette. You can see Baton Rouge up there and you can see the coastline. Pretty visible. Nice clear day, just a few scattered high clouds. Pretty clear for the most part. And we're about an hour 21 away from landing. It's crazy to think we've traveled 1,578 miles already. I'll tell you, it's a lot easier when uh, you're living the high life in first class. Katie's having a Diet Coke. She's got her... Watching that Julia Child. Oh yeah, we've both so been watching good. the Julia Child uh, documentary and it's amazing. I feel, like, I feel like I am Julia Child. No, it sure reminds me of you a lot. Really well done documentary. I haven't gotten through it yet, but uh, it's amazing so far. It's so good. She was, uh, what, a, what an awesome lady she was. I like that she said, uh, I find that people that aren't interested in food, well, I'm not very interested in that. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's amazing. It is now snack time. We got a cookie, got a salted caramel drizzled kind bar. Katie got some gummy bears. Surprise, surprise. How are those gummy bears? Oh, well, they're so good. Yeah. Katie's got her uh, her patches on if you're wondering what's on her face. Oh yeah, it's skincare. Skincare patches. They uh, they help though because you get really dry. Yeah. You know, because like I can see, I'm gonna put them on you next. Uh, no, I'm not putting those on. And then I, uh, I brought my skincare I'm gonna put on in a little bit. Are you enjoying your uh, first class experience? Mm -hmm. I just like having more room. I feel very small. very you should. Okay, we've arrived at the Florida coast, St. Petersburg, Tampa Bay. Looking beautiful down there. I hear it's about 73 degrees. Some spotty little clouds. Beautiful day. We've got about 18 minutes to go. We are almost there. to uh, some of your previous... I feel like it was really good. I did better than the last time. I you guess did you better did. better than you've ever done. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, you're right, huh? Yeah. Because there was stuff I, like, 
was kind of like, oh, I know what that feels like. So you weren't, you weren't having to do as much distractive uh, activities that you normally yeah, do? Yeah, that was weird. It was weird to be able to just sit and chill. Yeah. Like, it was weird to just be like, hey, let's watch. Like, I actually watched that Julia Child thing and could pay attention. Yeah, no, I noticed a, a complete 180 where you weren't... Um, <laughs> that's wild. There was, there was a panic, and I noticed a huge difference. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah. now now that I reflect on it, I'm kind of like... It's coming our way, baby. <laughs> it's just takeoff I don't like. Yeah, but... I think I'm now realizing that I it's takeoff, and then the first, like, 15 minutes or so that really aren't fun for me and then I can't let myself like just go crazy thinking I have right. to just be like dude I'm fine like yeah. and I, I think of it now by the way turbulence I now call it bouncing because that's really what it is yeah. it reminds me of like Tigger I don't know it's just a better connotation well, when you said chop I was like like the ocean yeah like when it's choppy yeah that's a good relay and, yeah uh, and I'm just like yeah we're just gonna bounce a little bit yeah and we did that was the uh the experience in, in uh, the first class did it help? Yes. So I didn't feel as claustrophobic as the first time when we sat up here, um, but I think like you know just having space around here right. really helps. So you know it was nice though, and it was a good distraction having the food. Like I, that was fun. I felt fancy. Yeah. And this was just like a domestic flight. Like well, that's what I remember awesome. as a kid when when I would fly and you would get the meal and you'd have this whole little setup yeah. and. There was something fun about it, and uh, it is. It's kind of. It's just its own thing. It's got a class to it. It's fun. Yeah, and, and I like you know, it. over the years we've kind of lost. You know, prior to everything shutting down, we kind of lost that. Right. I did, anyways. I lost that whole like excitement of that. It was like, yeah, whatever. This food. I'm not eating this food or whatever. But when I was yeah, a kid, it was no. so cool to like I get my own little. Oh, little I tray thought it was so like, much fun. Yeah. That like. And now we get my favorite part of the flight, landing. I love landing. Yeah. <laughs> like this is, I'm like, yeah! yeah. I am right. so excited right now. Well, Looking out go. the window. Oh, this is so much fun! fastened and your cabin luggage stowed until the aircraft has come to a complete stop at the gate. Have a great rest of the day, great March 1st, happy March 1st, and a safe journey to your final destination. That was a fun landing, huh? Yeah. Okay, pulling into the gate with our fellow Delta jets. There we go, waiting for that sound and then all the seatbelts to click, here we go. Uh, oh yeah. Flight fast free spare doors and early arrival. Cross check. All call. Cabin lighting. Katie, cross check. All right. We are on the jetway. I feel the humidity. Woo! Oh yeah. We went from like 10% humidity because we had Santa Ana winds to like legit Florida humidity. <laughs> Woo! Back at MCO. Local time, 1.45, early arrival. Good job, Delta. I know. But it pays to be on that early flight. Your chances of getting in on time and early are a lot greater when oh, you yeah. go to that early flight. Oh yeah, welcome to Orlando. Our first attraction as usual. Still celebrating the 50th here. A couple days after we got Yeah, we didn't see it the last time until we got back, but there it is. There's Mr. Popcorn Bucket Craze, there he is. And Minnie Mouse, Orange Bird. But you gotta say hello to the main man. What's up, Mickey? And my favorite Astro Mech Droid. There he is, Artoa de Toa. That looks so 3D. Oh, there's Binky, yeah. We always think that Pua looks like Binky. Totally related to 
resembles Binky. Yeah. And then there's Hey Hey. I always think of Charlie when I see Hey Hey. over there? Yeah. Doing its beacons of light thing. All right, so we're gonna head and get our rent-a-car. First, we're gonna get our bag. Oh, that's right. Then like, we're going to rent-a-car. I wanna skip that part. I'm I like, know. That was easy because we were sky priority and first class, and I think it comes out priority. Yes. Another reason why first class is so Gucci and rad. Love it, everybody should have it. Should be for everybody. Okay. Hertz provides rental car acquired. We got like a proper SUV this time. It's just about 220. We have uh, completed the travel portion of this day. That we did, my friend, and now the fun can begin. Yeah, we're gonna uh, head to our accommodations. Yeah, well, we have to stop at the store. So yeah, we're about to head to the uh, the hotel. Yes, I think we check in a little bit. And... Yeah, good timing, and uh, I'm getting used to this this uh, this trip. Although that first class travel, let me tell you. I know. Uh, once you go there, you're like, dang, I don't want to go back. And having a hot meal was uh, is bringing back the old school flight vibes. You know, it was nice silverware, glassware. I mean, come on, that it was, was a completely new experience for me. I that was, was loving amazing. It. Uh, so we hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more vlogs and more fun from Orlando. We have a blast out here. Um, I'm going to the Galactic Star Cruiser if you didn't know and if uh, if you didn't know where have you been it's gonna be a wild time everybody it sure is so if you enjoyed this you can let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget like Spencer said subscribe to our channel so you subscribe. don't miss out on all the fun hit the notification <laughs> bell just hit it yeah and uh, we will see you next time on best life and beyond bye bye everybody